Hi kids! How has been your week? We hope that you are enjoying your online and indoor activities. By the way, if this is your first time, I am Teacher Ren and welcome to Destiny Kids Church Online. So, we call our church Destiny because we believe in the word Destiny. In Jeremiah chapter 29 verse 11, it says there, For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord, plans to prosper you and not to harm you, plans to give you hope and a future. That's right. God said in that verse that He has a plan for us and He is our master planner. You know what? God's plan for our life is always okay, approved, and the best. One more time, kids. Let's do it. God's plan in my life is always okay, approved, and the best. Good job, kids. Now, I know that you are all ready for our worship time. So let's all stand up, stretch our body, don't forget to shout and clap, and sing and dance for Jesus.
that was an amazing worship time, kids. Did you enjoy that one? Me too. So let's now go to our lesson time. So last time, we opened a brand new series entitled, I am the voice. Can you say that one more time? I am the voice. Very good, kids. And last time, we talked about John the Baptist and how he became the voice that prepares the way for Jesus. And today, we will talk about Samuel. So if you have your Bibles with you, please get your Bible and open 1 Samuel chapter 3. If you don't have your Bibles, please let's watch this video. Stories of the Bible. God speaks to Samuel. This is Samuel. Hi! Samuel was the son of Hannah. Hey, Samuel! Hannah prayed for God to give her a son, and God did. So Hannah gave Samuel back to God. See you, Samuel! Bye, Mom! And Samuel grew up in the temple serving under Eli, the priest. Hi, Eli! As Samuel grew up, he learned how to serve God from Eli. Samuel lived in the house of God, but he did not know God or what God's voice sounded like. In those days, messages from God were rare. But one night after Eli had gone to bed, Samuel was sleeping in the tabernacle when suddenly God called out, Samuel! Huh? Samuel got up and ran to Eli and said, Did you call me? Not me. Eli said, I didn't call you. Go back to bed. So Samuel did. Then God called out again, Samuel! Huh? And again, Samuel got up and ran to Eli asking, Did you call me? Not me. Eli said, I didn't call you. Go back to bed. So Samuel did. God called Samuel for a third time, Samuel. Huh? And Samuel went to Eli yet again. Hmm. After three times, Eli realized that God was trying to speak to Samuel. So Eli taught Samuel to say, Speak, Lord. Your servant is listening. Okay. Samuel went back to bed, and God came and called as before, Samuel, Samuel! And Samuel said, Speak, your servant is listening. God told him many things about what would happen to Israel. As Samuel grew up, God was with him, and everything God spoke through Samuel came true. Samuel was seen as a great prophet of God because he could hear the voice of God and he listened when God spoke to him. That was a nice story, right kids? So as we can see in that story, a little boy named Samuel heard God's voice speaking to him. So Samuel used his listening ears to listen and obey God's word. So our title for today's lesson is I am the voice, I am called to listen and obey. One more time, kids. I am the voice, I am called to listen and obey. Why is it important to listen to God's voice? Number one, we need to recognize God's voice so we can know whom to follow. God should be the one speaking in our life so he can lead us. In John chapter 10, verse 27, My sheep listen to my voice. I know them, and they follow me. So Jesus is our shepherd, and we are his sheep. And as a sheep, we need to know God's voice so we can listen and obey when he leads us. In this story, Samuel thought, it was Eli who was calling him. And you know what's good about Samuel is that he's willing to respond when he heard someone calling him. 
But the problem is that he didn't know who was actually calling him. And he was confused. He go back and forth to Eli's bed until Eli recognizes that it is God who speaks to Samuel. And when Samuel said, Speak, Lord, for your servant is listening. That's the moment that God tell everything to Samuel. We need to recognize God's voice so we can know whom to follow and obey and we will not be confused when we heard different voices. Number two, we need to listen to God's voice so we can speak. We cannot speak what we don't know. Right kids? So it is important that after we recognize God's voice, we will listen using our listening ears and that's the time that we can be God's voice. Again, it is mentioned from our last lesson that we can only tell Jesus to other people and be his voice when we know God's word. And we can know God's word when we listen to him. Samuel became a great prophet of God because he listens when God spoke to him. Hmm, picture then. Does God speak to us? Maybe some of you are asking that question. The answer is yes. God speaks to all of us in many different ways. So the question now is, how can God speak to us? Are you ready? Number one, through godly men and women. So these are the people who are filled with the Holy Spirit. They are your parents, teachers through the Sunday school lessons, and these are our pastors and leaders. So it is through other people's voices that the message of God was being passed on from one generation to another. So in the story, Eli is the one who recognizes that God is speaking to Samuel. Number two, through prayer. God can speak to us instantly through prayer. That's why it is important that we are praying all the time. And when we pray, it should come from our heart. Because we are telling God how we feel. Jesus is our best friend. And we can tell everything to Jesus. Sometimes we feel sad and confused before we pray. But after we pray, we feel happy, there's comfort, and we feel victorious. That's the power of prayer. And lastly, number three, through the Word of God, the Bible. So the Bible is the basis of the truth, and it's the very Word of God. So for example, we don't feel good when we open our Bible. We know that God is speaking to us because His words are loving, His words are truthful, and His words are encouraging. That's why kids, we are encouraging everyone to be on track to our Bible reading plan. If you are on track, good job! But if you are late and you miss some chapters, it's okay. We can catch up with the help of God. Remember kids that you are never too young to hear God's voice because God is speaking in our hearts to be His voice. For our memory verse, it's from John chapter 10, verse 27. My sheep listen to my voice. I know them, and they follow me. Alright kids, for us to remember that verse easier, let's do it with action. John chapter 10, verse 27. My sheep listen to to my voice. I know them and they follow me. Alright, one more time. John chapter 10 verse 27. My sheep listen 
to my voice. I know them and they follow me. Good job, kids! So, let's now pray, kids. Let's put our hands together, bow down our heads, and close our eyes. Dear Jesus, we just want to thank you and adore you, Lord. Your word is so powerful, Lord God, and you are amazing, God. Thank you, Lord, for protecting and providing to our family and friends. Lord, we just want to thank you for the lesson that we learned today, Lord. Indeed, Lord, that you can speak to us and we can hear you, Lord. Lord, speak to us. We are listening, Lord. Lord, we pray that we will be your voice, Lord God, to our generation. That, Lord, when we speak, it is your word that will be proclaimed to other people, Lord. And we pray, Lord God, when there's a lot of voices around us, it is your voice that will be cleared, Lord. So thank you, God. Thank you, Jesus. We love you, Lord. We honor you. We bless your name. In Jesus' mighty name, amen and amen. Hi, kids. For today's activity, we will do the string phone craft. We need two paper cups, scissors, string or yarn, and a tape. First, use the scissors to make a hole on the bottom part of each cup. Be careful! Please ask the helping hands of mommy and daddy in doing this then cut a long piece of string put the string inside each cup and tie the end to keep the yarn from pulling out we can put a small tape on the string just to make sure it doesn't come out our string phone is now ready walk away from each other slowly until the string is in straight line between the two cups. We can use it when one person talks to one cup while the other person holds it in their ear and listens. Remember, just like Samuel, that we need to listen first and obey God's voice so that we can be His voice. So that's it for today, kids. I hope that you have enjoyed and learned a lot in our lesson today. Don't forget to share this to your classmates and friends, okay? And because we are celebrating our church anniversary, we are inviting all of you to please join us next Sunday together with our kuyas and ates in J12. So we will be having a special guest via Facebook Live. So see you next week. Bye, kids!